Uh, the cat is out of the bag. We're working on Rolldown, a Rust port of Rollup. Focus performance is the best effort compatibility with Rollup. Goal, replace ES build and Rollup invite with a minimal impact on end users. Okay, okay. I'm curious about this, which is how much faster is putting all, like, what, because I thought ES build was the big win here. Because at that point, ES builds doing all the major translation, and then you're just putting together all those files. I guess, yeah, you could say, I mean, is writing all those files, is that really the slow part? Is, is it really just the node bindings to writing files is, the, is slow enough that it requires it? Uh, my question is, when is the tail, uh, Tailwind LSP happening? I know. Because, I mean, most of the time with these roll-up things, I assume is going to be mostly spent in, in just, like, writing files. I guess you still have a bunch of plugins plugins are going to be still done in javascript so it's like is that ever going to be is that ever going to be really sl slow down yeah i mean i know that that node is slow on writing files or slower on writing files and it could be improved because the, the thing about writing files and that kind of stuff is that there's nothing really to it that is javascript dependent on slowness does that make sense like javascript shouldn't be r slowing down your your writing of files that's what bun kind of uh Bun kind of points out. So if you get to write your plugins in Rust, yeah, I guess that could make things faster. If you're walking an AST in Rust, that would make things faster, absolutely. But I mean, but now you've got to have all these people rewriting their plugins in Rust. Is that actually going to happen? Well, do it. I'm curious about what does significantly faster production builds look like. It will provide. So this, I mean, obviously, let's see, stronger dev prod consistency. I'm not sure what that means. More robust SSR dependency handling. More control over chunk splitting. Okay, that's, I mean, I guess that's interesting, is it, but you could do the same thing. I assume you, I'm, this is the only one that you would really get out of Rust, right? I don't get how there'd be difference here or di difference here or difference here, other than you're just, that the original ones weren't built well. Oh, and he explains it. Okay, he's explaining it. Oh, nice, nice. Of course, it'll be a lot of work. Okay, it's a work in progress. Very exciting. Core contributors are XRS pack team members. Nice. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And so the state of Vite, ViteConf. Okay, very cool. For, forgot to add that rolldown will be uh, will of course also be usable as a standalone dependency if Vite is too much for your use case. Interesting, uh, because we use rollup pretty extensively at Netflix, so this could be a, a really amazing thing if it actually does improve the performance. I'm just curious how much it actually is going to, you know, really improve performance. Uh, because right now, like ES build plus that is pretty fast. You know, again, you have a bunch of JavaScript plugins. You're going, you're just, you're constantly doing that. You use rollup where, you know where. What's Rollup? It's like another build system. Just think of it that way. It's another build system. Roll, Rollup is a nice, uh, yeah, is, is a very, very nice build system for JavaScript. It's, I'd, I'd say it's one of the better ones. Anyways, I like this. I'm excited about that. Yet another JS build system. Yeah, I mean, we are definitely in the renaissance of building tools for JavaScript again and again and again. In the last year, how many new versions of builds of things have happened? Like, there's been a lot. There's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I'm curious if we're going to stop needing to build more things, right? Because what are we actually getting out of this? To me, it just says that, I mean, honestly, here's my real take, is that we, we just use JavaScript beyond what its usefulness is. That we've extended JavaScript so far that we're using it for all things. And then we realized, ah, it's not that great to be used for all things. And now we're trying to still build tools to make it so that we can use it for everything, but we still have to have like some of the tools in Rust to try to make it, you know, work. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think Wasm is going to save us. The only, the only way for something to save us is something more like HTMX or uh, Hotwire or whatever it's called, Livewire. Livewire. I've never used Livewire. I'm not going to, you know, I never used it, but that's, that's really the only way to actually improve dramatically. Um, I remember LimeWire, LiveWire. Uh, I think that's honestly the only way we're going to see real improvements in the system is that you stop relying on JavaScript as the sole language for everything. Also, I think another thing that would really help is if we, uh, if we more regularly use protobufs. I think if protobuf tooling improves, that would be a big W. Because right now, protobuf tooling kind of sucks. It's not that great. It's okay. Like uh, TS, TS protobuf is pretty good, but this notion that you're your front end and your back end have to share a language because that's the only way to share types is just like a fundamental misrepresentation of programming. The reason why you need to share types is because you keep using an untyped format to talk to each other. I would love to see more of it though. I think that would really help is more typed scheming happening. And this idea that we got to stop saying that, uh, what's it called? 
to share types, the only way to share types is to share the same language, which I think is just fundamentally broken, right? It's just a fundamentally broken idea. Like I get the idea that it's good to do that and that there's something really nice about having one language to write an entire project in, but I'm not convinced it is the best way. I think language specific domains are the way. And so I'm not really quite uh, buying anything else. Anyways, this is cool though. I, I, I'd really love to see the actual times uh, winning here. Because when I use ES, when I use ES, ES build, the build times are like a tenth of a second, right? So am I really going to get something faster than a tenth of a second? If the difference is a tenth of a second to a twentieth of the second, it actually doesn't, it doesn't actually build anything for me. You know what I mean? In real talk, if you're just also use, if you just also use uh, Go on your back end, the build times are like one millisecond. Have you ever thought about that one? One millisecond. That's it. It's just one. Just one. It's just like a singular millisecond. The name is, I just, look at me go. I just mentioned go and HTMX in a single video. Again.